Father, you are the great and awesome God, and you've come to, to build your kingdom here on earth and to build your kingdom and your love and your truth in us. I ask that you would be with us, Father, that we would truly open up our hearts to you so that you would cleanse us and purify us, make us fit for service in your kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remain standing if you care to as we worship God together. Our first song is Our God. Oh, yeah. What if we turn into wine? Open the eyes of the blind, no one like you, none like you. Into the darkness we shine, out of the ashes we rise. Amazing love that welcomes me, the kindness of 
stating that we are to be using this holy water. And I thought about Naaman dipping himself seven times in the Jordan River. And I thought, well, that would only cleanse me of my skin of irritations, maybe skin diseases, even if God wanted that to be allowed. But water doesn't quite seem to be the way to be pure of things. I'd rather be washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. In John chapter, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. But for walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. I myself would rather be cleansed by the blood of Jesus than 
so-called holy water and try to dip myself in any other water. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus? Have you accepted that free gift of salvation through his sacrifice? As we take communion, let's remember the blood represents by the juice and the bread represents that Jesus shed his blood for us. His body broken for us. His sacrifice covers our sin completely. His blood covers us from all our sin. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for Christ and his sacrifice on the cross so that he could take our sin away, Father. That we could be pure, white as snow, Father. Fathers, we're talking about washed in the blood of Christ. I pray that everybody who hears this message will be washed in the blood of Christ at some point. Father, we thank you for Jesus' death that takes away our sin. We thank you for his sacrifice. We pray in his name. Amen. For our offering, I'd like to read from the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. Are we laying our lives down to help others? How do we show our love to others? And are you being generous? Just a couple questions before we read. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid his life down for us. And we ought to lay our lives down for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. Our actions is what's going to show our love. Are we generous with our offerings? Are we generous with showing Christ to others? Are we generous in growing God's church? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can be generous with our money, time, and our talents to grow your kingdom. Father, we thank you that Jesus has shown us the ultimate way of showing us his love for us. Let us show our love for him to others and to our neighbors by being generous with your gifts that you've given us. Father, we ask your blessing upon the gift and the giver. For this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you got a copy of the prayer list. Um, usually, uh, when we print them out Sunday morning and uh, put some back on the welcome table back there and hand a few out uh, to people that we see. Uh, quite a number of, of additions to our list today. And uh, you can see a, a praise here um, that uh, our friend Pauline, her son, has been through really a, a very rough way to go. Uh, stepped on a nail in a construction area and ended up with almost losing his leg. Just keep praying. Um, Joe put his, his dad and family members on the list with a car accident. Uh, so others uh, that, that you can see here. Uh, Mike Shorter asked for prayer for his sister-in-law to be as uh, she's struggling with breast cancer right now. Uh, uh, James 
uh, Lancaster asked for prayer for the family of his supervisor uh, as, as the supervisor has passed away from cancer. A lot of opportunities for prayer, isn't there? A lot of things going on in people's lives. A lot of things going on in the life of the church. And uh, pray for, for ministry to get done. And I'm not talking about the ministry that I do specifically, although please pray for me. But the ministry that so many in this church do. The ministry that, that happens when the message goes online. And pray that God uses that to, to build his kingdom. Amen. We, we have so many opportunities right now. And somebody recently was talking about the, the struggles that people are having. And, you know, we, we have the answers. We have Jesus. He's the one who... And then one of the songs that we sang talked about, I am healed, I am whole. When, when Jesus comes inside, he helps grow us and make us whole. He heals our hearts and our minds. And a lot of times today, we don't talk like God is the solution. You know, he's, he, we come visit him at church on Sunday mornings instead of him being Lord of our lives. And we, we need to... And we'll get more into this. this. I haven't started the sermon yet, by the way. This, this is the prayer time. Yeah. Yes. This is the intro to the intro. Um, but I just, I want to make sure that, that we're lifting our sights to the needs of people around us, but to the real needs. Because so many times the real need is what we're going through and what we're going through and our spiritual lives, our walk with the Lord or the need for that walk. So let's, let's have a few moments of, of silent prayer. And it won't be too long. That's one thing that being on the internet does. You know, si silence for 10 seconds is a really long time on the internet or on any type of broadcast, if you will. But let's, let's go to the Lord and, and pray. Pray for those who are on your hearts. Pray for the church. Pray for God's kingdom to grow. Let's go to him. Father, our primary prayer is that you would be at work in every life and that each person would open themselves up to you. Father, sometimes that means tearing down the walls that we have allowed to be built around our hearts to protect ourselves. But, Father, when we protect ourselves from life, we protect ourselves from you. And that's not good. Father, you know what's in our hearts. Help us, Father, to work to, to grow your kingdom. And if that means using more of our time, our talent, our treasure, so be it. That's why you've given them to us to begin with. Thank you, Father, that you are with us here in this church. But help us, Father, not to keep the message here in this church. Help us to share the good news about Jesus because so many lives, so many people's well-being and their health depend upon knowing you. So many people's eternity depends upon knowing you. Thank you for being with us as we're, we're gathered here, either electronically or in person. But Father, help this message to go out in ways that will have the impact that you intend. Father, your word does not return unto you void, but it accomplishes your purpose when we send it out and take it out 